So, uh, if you haven't heard of Turtle WoW, it is a basically classic plus version of the game that was created by the community. A lot of people love it and play it, and um, it's everything that people basically wanted classic plus to be that it currently is it with the season of discovery and stuff like that. Evidently, Turtle WoW is taking the next step forward. Not only have they created Classic Plus, they're basically creating WoW 2. They have transferred WoW over to an Unreal Engine, and this is the trailer for it. Let's see what this amazing community has done with the game. Still clinging to the old ways, eh? I guess it works. Occasionally. But why settle for the technology of the ancients when the future awaits? Welcome to the dawn of the new age, where legacy meets innovation. Here we make the magic happen. With just a sprinkle of ethereal dust and a bit of help from cutting-edge technology, we explore endless possibilities. Be doubtful? Well then. See for yourselves. Okay. Revitalized for the modern era. Oh, damn. Turtle WoW 2.0 now runs smoothly on modern devices, ensuring an immersive and high-performance experience. Holy crap. Dude, this is a completely different game. Oh, my God. How did they do this? And how did they do it and make it playable? And Blizzard hasn't been able to do this. What the heck? Uh, a, a legacy mode tech optimized for legacy and modern technology. Holy crap. Look at the difference. And for those special oh few, my god. Look at Duskwood. Essence, or want to try something new, we've got you both covered. Total WoW 2.0 offers a choice between the beloved vanilla graphics and enhanced visuals powered by dynamic shadows. Superior How is this possible? This has literally been the hang up for the game. Like, people have said over and over, like, Blizzard can't really go full Unreal Engine because then there's a lot of PCs they won't be able to run. These guys created a toggle switch that will allow you to do this. Now, the one thing I will say is, yeah, there's a toggle for them in this legacy mode, right? But uh, so, but, but this content's already been created. If Blizzard wanted to create a legacy toggle mode, every time, basically, they release an expansion, they would have to create it in the old version and the new version. So I understand the hangups there. But this is unbelievable. This is a, just, a, just a group of regular developers. Like, this is not a company, guys. These are just random guys. They have done this shit. My shadows, superior texturing, and more thanks to the Unreal Engine. So modern mode will require a dedicated GPU. 1060? That's not bad. A 1060? I feel like most people have that these days. Even our Android-loving friends can join in on the fun. There's no way. What the hell? Both the old and new with full this shit is playable on a mobile device? We have phones? Oh my god, this is crazy. Supported by Android devices. What? Embrace both the old and new with full add-on support and groundbreaking modding capabilities, allowing us to expand the world like never before. My mind is blown. Enhanced with robust anti-cheat measures, Turtle WoW 2.0 renders all previous hacking and botting tools ineffective. Get There's no way, man. How are they doing this shit? These are all the things Blizzard said that cannot be done. Anti-botting? Renders all previous hacking and botting tools ineffective, guaranteeing a fair and immersive gameplay experience. Supported all vanilla WoW fan-made expansions, Mysteries of Azeroth. This is crazy. Dive into a vast world of new stories, where every turn brings discovery and excitement. A journey awaits, warm and familiar, but exciting. This looks great. New. Welcome, one and all. Holy crap, man. Coming 2025. This is absolutely insane. Let the impossible become possible. 20 quests limit raised. Accessibility support. DLSS. Intel GPU support. Photo and cinematic mode. Um, language. Damn it, I can't see this damn trailer. Things in the way.
Hold on, I can see it here in the little bubble. Um, language toggle, ultra wide and multi screen support, action uh, queuing, reduced latency, dependency, and much more. My god, this looks so good. Look at the Murlocs. Uh, thanks to Blizzard Entertainment for creating the World of Warcraft and igniting the inspiration uh, and life-lasting, uh, I don't know, I can't read it what it says, in, mo in modding community. That's crazy. Hopefully they don't get taken down. <laughs> Man, it's Sparkle Wow. It's <laughs> no, this is great. It, whether you like Turtle Wow or not, whether you're a classic Andy or not, the fact that an individual community was able to create something like this is absolutely astounding. Props to them. This is crazy. What a cool thing they've created. I mean, just the images of the side-by-sides, are it's crazy. Going, going with the Unreal Engine. I mean, look at these side-by-side -side images. Look at the detail on the grass, everything else, the shadows. This looks freaking great. This doesn't look like... We've seen the videos before of the Unreal Engine, you know. Oh, look, I just made an Unreal Engine Orgamar. But those aren't necessarily playable. This is a fully playable, fully rendered, uh, Unreal Engine version of the game. This is absolutely crazy. I mean, these images at the end, they look great. And it still looks like WoW. Even though it's an up -res version of it. Awesome stuff from them. Man, props to them. Really cool video. I'll make sure to link this in the chat for you guys. Thanks.